A top U.S. official on June 27 told a Chinese counterpart that Washington's defense commitments to the Philippines were ironclad after a violent clash in the South China Sea. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell raised serious concerns about Chinese actions in a call with Executive Vice Foreign Minister Mo Xiaoxiu. The State Department said. Mr. Campbell reiterated that U.S. commitments to the Philippines under the Mutual Defense Treaty remain ironclad, State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said in a statement. Mr. Campbell also called for peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait in the wake of China's military drills around the self-governing democracy following the inauguration of President Lai ching -ti and renewed U.S. concerns about Chinese exports that support Russia's defense industry. Chinese Coast Guard personnel wielding knives, sticks and an axe surrounded and boarded three Filipino Navy boats last week, in the most serious of a number of escalating confrontations. China has been asserting claims in the strategic South China Sea and separately has put pressure on Taiwan, which it considers part of its territory awaiting reunification. The U.S. provides weapons to Taiwan but has been deliberately ambiguous on whether it would come to its defense in a Chinese invasion. By contrast, the U.S. has a defense treaty with the Philippines that dates to 1951 that says Washington will come to its former colonies' aid in case of an armed attack. The U.S. has repeatedly stressed its commitments to the treaty without spelling out publicly at which point China has crossed the line. Despite multiple areas of tensions, President Joe Biden's administration has worked to expand communication with China to reduce the chance of greater conflict. Mr. Campbell's call was part of ongoing efforts to maintain open lines of communication between the two powers and responsibly manage competition in the relationship, Mr. Miller said.